I've seen pretty much every corner of this city and one would easily imagine how you can get bored after visiting most attractions. But when you wake up on a Sunday and walk through the streets of Valencia dressed in sunshine, I bet you would feel what I felt in that perfect day. We're in a mood to try some Korean food. We've never been to this place. I was craving something distant yet familiar. It's a small place in Rosafa. It's called La Taula de Yun, Korean restaurant. They have a very small menu. It's a set menu, 25 euro per person. They bring all the different appetizers. You know how Korean food is with different tiny dishes. And then you have your main dish. So we're gonna do that and we're gonna start with some soju. Food here, my veggie bowl. <laughs> Just a note, it was very easy to reserve for our table. Uh, they use Instagram for reservations, so super quick, super easy. Just message them. They're very sweet, and I'm here for the kimchi. <laughs> Let's try it. In LA, I lived in Koreatown, so you know, 20 years of this, and I, I really missed it because it's super healthy, fermented uh, cabbage. It's very good for your health, so... Mm -hmm. Yes. Noodles, some veggie tofu. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very fresh, very tasty. That was a good meal. It's not super crazy big. Like, I remember in Koreatown, they have like a overwhelming amount of food. But it's time for dessert, so... Good thing is we have some room for dessert. This looks like a green tea something. Steamy Americano. This is excellent. They have one dessert, but they nailed it. It's a green tea mousse or something. It is so good. I was dying for a green tea sorbet. But this, it's amazing. So good. I think the tourist season is in full force. So as you can see, everybody's out enjoying their day. It's Sunday. Valencia's pretty busy. <laughs> There's never enough art in our lives. So there is a digital exhibition of Goya's work in the center there. Let's see if we can do it. We didn't do any reservations. Usually you have to reserve your spot, but if we're lucky, we can do that. And there is a gorgeous rooftop. Again, if, uh, if there are spots available, we can grab a cocktail. So come with me. Nice. Okay, so we were able to actually not only book tickets for Goya, the digital exhibition, but also this gives you access to the rooftop. And it's great, there are almost no people. I thought today is gonna be packed. I can't believe we were actually able to get on the rooftop on a busy Sunday. Well, the rooftop's not busy. These are probably the best views of Valencia. Look at this. You can see the fountain from up here. They have a fully stocked bar, anything you want. And it's so refreshing. It is about 23, 24 degrees here. So not too cold, not too warm. It's just the perfect Sunday to enjoy on the rooftop. Look at this. You can see the Science Center over there. You can see the BBVA, the bank, and this beautiful ornate building. Uh, we live right next to it, so the rooftop we could see the same, pretty much the same view. Some of uh, Old Town and some of the center. It's a gorgeous 360 view. There's nobody here. I don't know if it's because it's Sunday. I don't know what's the normal situation, but it's so pleasant. It's incredible. Really pleasant to see. All the way, look. All the way there. And off to see Goya. And then they gave Goya's life, how it interlocks with these historic events. It's really nice. So Goya depicted in his works topics such as inequality, 
in human relations, abuse of power, and lack of culture. So I just wonder, what changed? It seems like we've been exploring these topics over and over and over, but it's great when they interlock with the different historical moments. I think this really brings a, a unique feel to, to the paintings, so we can keep interpreting them in different time frames. Happening. We need to get to the cinema. We got the last one. Sometimes the last will be first. I know you can run out of things to do when you start living in Valencia because you've seen all the tourist attractions and everything this city has to offer. But today we actually experienced a lot of things living here and it's a beautiful Sunday afternoon. We went to an international restaurant, a Korean restaurant in Rusafa. We saw an exhibition, Goya's exhibition in the center of, in Valencia. We enjoyed the rooftop with a 360 view of the whole city, which can be a bit touristy, but there was nobody there today. And now we're going to see a movie at the Elmo Theater in English. We might need masks for our inside. I don't know, only transportation, I think, but Cine Yelmo, it's a medium popcorn, cerveza on the way, agua regular, normal, <laughs> not bad. So the tickets, two tickets for a movie, the popcorn, medium popcorn, beer and water, 27 euro. Only the tickets will cost you that in LA. Pretty good. 